So he's getting really good about just leaving, going out in the woods, doesn't really care, goes down the road, crosses the ditch, doesn't care anymore. We're getting ready to ride past the farm, down the road here. So he's gonna have to go past his herd and leave them behind. Which I don't see being a problem because he leaves his herd now. But, you know, anything we can do to test him and see if he's gonna be silly. So over there's the house. Well, the barn, not the house, but he knows where he's at. He sees the horses over there. He knows this is his house right now. He'd like to go there. I'm just going to correct him and ask him to walk on. Yeah. He's listening. He would like to go in the yard. He's listening. Just a little leg against his side. A little bit of rain. And he stays in the road for me. And he's looking and wondering where his friends are. And he'd like to go out there with them. But he's, he'll, he'll walk past him now. His little snortiness is his, like, his little, uh, way of sharing that he's got energy. Right there he stopped a little bit. He thought he might like to stop because we're passing the big field now. So now the horses are officially becoming like in the rear view for him. You know, like behind him in the field. So he's you know, in his mind he's leaving. And we have a bicycle coming by us so hopefully we won't die. Hey there. I really appreciate that, sir. You have a blessed night. He didn't, give, he didn't care at all about the bike. Yep, doesn't care. I'm taking him down here. Never had him across the road yet. a little more to keep him straight because he kind of wants to look back at the herd but he's going make him gate a little ah! gate a little bit no no a little naughty behavior there like the major threatening me is what he's doing That wasn't much. A little balky, but nothing bad. Tested me a little. Wanted to see if I was going to make him behave. Wouldn't have done it if I'd been riding with two hands, but right now I've got one hand. I'm using the other hand on the phone, and I'm just sort of, I'm giving him the opportunity to make mistakes. You know, I could ride him a little bit, a little bit more specifically. And what I mean by that is a little clearer with my aids, but I'm purposefully riding him kind of sloppy like a beginner would giving him opportunities to make mistakes and then when he chooses to make the wrong choice I'll correct him make him behave and then go back to riding kind of like a sloppy beginner again because he's got to learn to just zone out and go for the ride and not worry so much about who's with him because he's really not a spooky horse at all he likes to go places. He's bold. He's adventurous. But he's lazy. No, and he does like his friends. I mean, who doesn't? We all like to have our friends with us. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to sign off for now and focus a little more on riding him. So I just brought him out here in the field to collect the feed bags off the horses. He doesn't care, he's just riding out here. He doesn't care that they're not with him and that they're way over there.
you can see he's got a nice little sweat going. Even up on his haunches. Yep. Haven't had any lameness issues yet. Yep, knock on wood. Huh, no lameness issues yet. Knocking on wood. Yep. 